Greetings, this is Bloodreland. Welcome back to Let's Play The Expanse El Telltale series. Now on episode 3. Uh, as I said in the previous video on uh, the last of episode 2, we didn't actually record the end. There was some problem. There was a scene where you go and choose if you want to sleep with Maya or not. I did. And then uh, you get woken up by Khan telling you that uh, she found something. Receiving this message, it means you've found us at last. You've come, and with you comes the next great step in the evolution of humanity. Not sure why this is so loud. We have been preparing for your arrival for years. Perhaps centuries. Just repeats after that. Who was that? The head of the station, presumably. Whoever he was, he's long gone now. Generations ago, millions of Earthers tried to set up mining stations in the belt. Some of them lasted. Some died off right away. And some of them, no one knows. Still, a station this large uncharted and seemingly uninhabited it's like nothing i've heard of what did the initial scans tell us none of the scanners penetrate past the first level but there are no heat signatures no activity except this broadcast looks clear maybe but we don't know who stashed it here or who else they might have told about it not to mention, how the fuck are we gonna find it in there? The place is massive. There was a line in the coordinates. Something about... the first ones. What does that mean? We'll know till we get inside. Arlen, Rayan, stay on the ship. Be ready to burn hard if there's any activity on the radar. Jor Ding, boss man. Good hunting. Maya and I will head inside and search around. Cap! Be careful. Okay. The game is kind of formulaic so far in the go for salvage, then return to the ship, something happens to the ship, next episode we go for salvage, etc. etc. Although this may be not gonna be salvage, but um, you know, trying to find the score. Also, didn't get the side mission this time. Exactly how old is this place? Too old to be on any maps. Maybe a hundred years. Damn. How the hell did something like that get lost? This is a huge place, right? I mean, space is huge, even just our solar system. But still, you would think would it be abandoned or anything? Even if something happened to the people there, it would be repurposed. For the command center. Found it. Over here. A 
Never seen helmets this old. Crazy that people used to wear these into the vacuum. Everything is extremely well preserved uh, for a hundred years. But I guess if it's in vacuum, uh, vacuum, there is no degradation. Completely abandoned. I can't even imagine what could have happened here. Maybe we'll find out. As long as it's on the way to finding the MK core. Is big on here. Who didn't? The station is ancient, but the nav beacon. Oh, the people that brought the core, maybe. It's usually Reyes and uh, his brother do that. The ox power is on these breakers. The sector is now powered. There are three total. Each should have its own control room like this. Three sectors. I'll go ahead to find the control centers in each one. You keep scanning the servers for any leads. Fine. Have the fun to yourself. I'll call you once I power up the next sector. Again, I don't understand what the point of this salvage thing is. We've gotten some salvage here and there, but the game hasn't made any use of that or mentioned it, so. Super weird. Uh, emergency power operational. The emergency power is working. Also, 100 years, that's some good power generation, whatever it's uh, from. Whatever went wrong here, it wasn't due to a lack of resources. Everything appears functional, if ancient. Even stranger, the station three sectors were powered down at different times. Of the bottom sector shut down three years, uh, years before the other two. Why would anyone purposefully put so much of their station in the vacuum? Vacuum. Well, damn it. Why can't I say this word? <laughs> we still haven't talked about last night. Probably should keep it that way for now. About last night. Yeah, Cap. Tell us about last night. Which one of you made all those noises? <laughs> Sounded like a coyo stuck at us. Ah, Falota! Get off this channel. Private channel from here on out, okay? And maybe we just focus on the mission for now. You got it, Boss Meng. The idea of exploring this whole station doesn't appeal to me. Mm. But whoever said we Classroom, Sector 2, Med Bay, Sector 3, Communication, Scratch Out, Cathedral. Mm. It might be a cult after all. So, what the fuck? That's, that scared me. <laughs> the, the praying? There's a dead body here. He seems almost... posed. That's weird. Do you think it's related to the core? Don't know. I'll keep searching around. The last one? Huh. Leave this message. I leave this message having surrendered this sector to the vacuum to preserve my body for what comes next. Ras Daldon. Ras a signal. We will live again. The last one. Definitely cult. Okay. This group called itself the Cassiopeia Collective. Landed here in 2226. They were an unlicensed settler community from Earth. What happened to them? No clue. Nothing good by the looks of it. Why would I walk when I can fly? Locked. Oh, all right. Connect the junction boxes to power the airlock. We're about to hit the greatest score a scavenger has ever come across. Looks ever right. That's what he said. So, what do you plan to do with it? The money. I'll head back to Ceres. You 
want to go back to the station where there's a bounty on your head? With this money, I can make the bounty disappear. How? By going to war with Dawes? By making him irrelevant. I'm going to build an OPS that actually helps Belters. Oh. Drummer, the drummer. Uh, okay. Only one way to go this time. This time it seems like it's very linear. Like the previous salvage missions. Falota. Drummer? What happened? Dead bodies. Many of them. Creepy abandoned station is creepy. I'll head to the power. Then we can investigate it together. Now you want to include me? Fantastic. Yeah, come join the buddies. What are you going to do with your share? Oh, there's I... another beacon. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Or lamp. I haven't thought about it. Pelota, you must have some idea. So you won't go back to Mars. Pick a station to settle in. Set up shop as an engineer. I could. I'd miss flying around though. Maybe I'll buy the Artemis off Khan. You can call me captain for a change. Ah, uh, this ship has had enough mutinies already. Salvage collected. Again, what is the point of salvage? There must be something to do with them, otherwise. Why even put this mechanic on? Next life goals. Strange lesson for you. They're creepy. Or anyone. Be my brother. See my mommy. Try swimming. Climb a mountain. Thank the aliens. Eat ice cream. Become Secretary General. Fight the bacteria. Ah, oh, okay. I guess they maybe died from a disease. Ride a spaceship. Again. In the dark. Cadaver? That doesn't look like a cadaver. Bodies in the vacuum don't decompose. Guess that was the lesson. That looks like a mummy. Mummy. Like a dummy. Weird. Uh. Dead people? I don't know what that is. More dead people. The children, maybe. Hmm. I'm not familiar with the Dalton principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is estimated to be 87,000 light years in diameter. Out of 100 billion planets, 300 million have the properties for life. This is known as the Goldilocks zone. According to this, to the Fermi paradox, intelligent life must have developed in our galaxy. The paradox is that uh, how come we don't see it because it should be plenty. And usually the answer is uh, we have been here for a tiny amount of time. No one can see a tiny amount of uh, the solar system, not the solar system, the Milky Way. So, Like whole civilizations could flourish, expand everywhere, die in what, 100,000 years, 200,000 years. And it's been what, billions of years. So, you know. Anyway, without bacteria or oxygen exposure, human bodies can remain free from decomposition indefinitely. Due to Moore's law, we can predict that the medical technology will grow more efficient every year. This makes the potential for advanced alien civilization or future human civilization limitless. They can altogether the Dalton principle states that the resurrection of infected corpses in stasis by an advanced civilization. Human or alien is a question of when not if. That makes sense. That's what it, by, why we, some people go in, st in stasis, right? Or cry, or if you want to call it like that. Like, instead of burying people or burning them, we should probably throw them in space. Have them, uh, you know, a place where uh, they're all there. And. Uh, you know what, maybe in the future, either us or someone else can uh, 
make them alive again and um, heal them from whatever they had. I do have to lose. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, okay. These aren't just coffins. They're designed to keep corpses in stasis, virtually. Free. Again, that seems smart to me. Everyone is dying from a disease, especially. Why not? What exactly do you have to lose? Looks like they were pulling walls off the station to fashion these caskets. Big pagal. All of this planning and effort. Just to prepare for their own deaths. Why wouldn't you explain it to me? This feels like grave robbing. Even more so than usual. I know. But but this is what we do. <laughs> These were some of the first people to try and survive out here. Does historical value pay well? Beats me. Maybe. Depending. Reading this message, you'd hardly know they'd given up on surviving and are putting all their hope in. Aliens? By unanimous vote, the Cassiopeia Collective has decided to decommission all biomass recyclers and break them apart for materials. We thank all collectivists who participate in the hearing and look forward to a bright future ahead. Hmm. We have entered phase 3 of the a realignment plan laid out in last month's collectivist assembly. All regular mining operations have been suspended. Mining employees, please report to your post at regular call area signed. Management will communicate new plans for breaking down and repurposing construction materials. Once a suitable amount of materials have been collected, we'll commence phase 4 to begin construction of stasis coffins. Designs have been posted in the comms hub for comments before next month's assembly. Okay. Uh, 11 of April. Yeah. Request for emergency aid. 12 April. UNN. Request for emergency aid. Infectious outbreak in settlement. 15. Of April, MCRN, urgent request from Earth Settlement. 22 of April, UNN, request for emergency aid multiple deaths. Damn. 1st of May, UNN, regarding, thank you for contacting UNN emergency relief aid. 8th of May, UNN, for the love of God save us. I guess no one replied to them. They got lost in traffic or something. The station began as a mining operation, difficult work with low profit margins at the best of times. By the time people were starting dying of disease, the collective was likely stranded with little money and no way to mine enough resources as the population got sicker. No wonder this group set their sights on other means of escape. Mm. Weird that they didn't reply, but I guess we don't know how. Uh, did this right? Yeah. Things work uh, communication ways. What's that? It's loot that we have never used so far. But I guess we'll take it. Okay. Per sector done. You were kidding. It's like a crypt. I thought.
thought filters recycled their data. We do. We don't get to be sentimental. We use every ounce of every resource we have. It's how we survive. So what is here? Maybe the people here were abandoned and got desperate. They could have thought they needed the bodies for something. We know what they thought, so it's weird that they don't talk about it. Some games do that, and it's really weird. You get information that your character, your character gets information, and then they ask questions about the information they already have. It's super weird. There's no sign of the core yet. I'll check the server here. Keep me posted on any more excitement you find. Okay. Anything else here? Grateful to have company in here. Okay. So now that we know that this channel is definitely private. <laughs> You can finally tell me that last night was amazing, and you'll never be the same again. I'm flattered. I was just going to say that it was very nice. It really, really, really was. Okay. We're going to the med bay, I think. Yes. Uh, Timo Moffat, 22 weeks. 12, 8. Mori Umhausen, Abdul Farhazi, 8, 7 weeks. What? No idea. I'd never let this happen to me. I've got my recycler all picked out. So, what do they recycle exactly from a human body? The hands of the king are the hands of a healer, and so shall the rightful king be known. That's interesting. Loving memory of Dr. Armin Zahani, now that you are lost, we will learn. This is uh, a line on uh, Lord of the Rings, the third book. Uh, it's something that um, someone says on Aragorn, when he heals someone in um, Minas Tirith, what is the town? I don't remember. But I don't think it's from... Lotter, it might be something else. Experian or something. I need to look that up. I thought it was from Lotter, but maybe not. Maybe it's also, you know, Bible stuff. Let's check it out. Looks like the medic was well liked. Huh. All these poor Subaka Wallace. Staring at the abyss for eternity. I mean, they're dead, they're not saying anything. I submit this recording alongside the station's medical records for future study. Though I take less faith than Dalton and foreign visitors, I have hope our tragedy will prove instructive to the burgeoning field of extraterrestrial immunology. <coughs> the pandemic which decimated this station began as a standard mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. <coughs> I contend they find tuberculosis over here. Air filters which provoked the initial evolutionary surge. But <coughs> it was the children born to this station whose stunted immune systems provided the fatal breeding grounds. <coughs> I did all I could. In truth, we all did. But we had no chance. Damn, okay. Gonna get supplements that's been here for a hundred years. Taking supplements to combat living in microgravity. Uh, Same stuff we take. I doubt it. The only that seems weird. Right now is because of what we learned from settlements like this. I'm going that way. Yes. So you're heading back to Ceres and leaving the Artemis without a captain? I suppose that's true. Damn. If I knew last night was a one-off, I would have gotten even less sleep. I will. 
miss you too. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least call me a well walla, or tell me how you can kick my Martian ass. I will miss kicking your ass, well walla. This left and what is right. I mean, I guess all them dying kind of broke them, but that's definitely cult stuff. Let's see if there's anything before I go there. Can't go there. All right, that's checking. You seeing this? Sure am. How has all of this just been sitting here? Their stories were abandoned, just like they were. What gets me is that there was no OPA back then. There wasn't even the word Belter. But as soon as they got out here, somehow their lives didn't matter anymore. Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, welcome to the OPA. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The OPA isn't just for dark orphans on series. It's for anyone who wants to fight for a free belt. At least that's what it should be. And again, it's weird this place seems to have a lot of resources. So to be abandoned completely seems very strange to me. Anything else up top before we go down? Is this where the broadcast came from? Could be a transmitter. Yeah, it's a big boy. I guess I can't go there. Nope. Not that. Yes, that way. Mm. Pull the gun first. Got some mining charges here. Looks disarmed. Wait. How much do they look disarmed? Disarmed enough. You clearly haven't handled many explosives. Guilty as charged. Oh, that company has a uh, Logan Dalton. Oh, it's a Dalton principal guy. Different from the coffins in the upper sectors. And again, we know that he's important, but before they ran out of supplies. The character does not actually acknowledge that. Another nav beacon. We must be getting close to the core. Which again, it's super strange. Creepy would that be exploring a dead station? There is no sound because it's in vacuum, too, so super but creepy. With all this alone time you've given me, I've been thinking about something. Whatever this treasure is, the one thing we know is that it will change everything. No more scavenging, no more running. That's the hope. The thing is, I think if I had all the money in the world to do it's never gonna happen. Wanted, 
it would be doing this with you. Okay, not this exactly, but working with you to help build a better future for the belt. I want to be a part of it, if you'll have me. I mean... I'd be lucky to have you. So would the OPA. As long as you're sure that's what you really want. I want to be a part of something that matters. And I want to be with the only person who's ever made me feel like... These limits are so small, it's kind of weird. Oh, great. This looks very Mass Effect. You know, the Protheans. Holy shit, this is beautiful. It is creepy, but beautiful, sir. And they also have the... fancy coffins. It is. I still don't understand it, but it's beautiful. That shape at the bottom, I recognize it from the coordinates. That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll meet you down there. Can I not look around first? I guess not. Oh, I don't know what. We'll end the episode here, and then the next one will continue with uh, the expanse and the Telltale series. Thank you for watching. As usually, feel free to leave me a comment, subscribe, like, all the good things. Have a good day or night. And I will see you next time.